Welcome to another body language video. Let's see where it goes. Okay, we can see that this a bit of tension in Ragnar. He breathes in to take any uh, to take some breath to relax. Uh, otherwise, the chin is up, so it's okay. He feels confident. Uh, the right now not, but the eyes were focused on the point. Um, I cannot see anything but the you know, about his posture. Okay, we can see some tension on the on the jawline. So let's continue. Okay. Okay, look at the posture of Ragnar. Shoulders back, wide open. As I told before, the head is up, the chin is up, so it's okay. Um, this white posture for men is very attractive because it shows some kind of dominant behavior. So if you want to get this kind of of if you want to transmit this kind of confident confidence in people, you probably will need to to start lifting some weights. If not, there is a trick that is um, carrying or wearing more white clothes so baggy clothes uh, as it's a be it's a trick so you can uh, show yourself a little bigger okay in this first second we can see how he re readjust his shoulders so he, he can carry on to, to where he has to go to, to a place that carries him so much tension as we saw in the in the beginning at the beginning look here okay and he start working look at his face it's very slow so as I so I didn't know this. As I told in some TikTok video, you want to show some confidence just by the way you walk or the way you move. Uh, it's better to move slowly than faster because you show, you make faster moves. You show that you are kind of nervous. You want to to get the things done right uh, quickly. Okay, instead of of pacing your own actions. Okay. So move slowly if you want to show confidence in every manner of time. Okay, feet are 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 right. If you want to show some dominance, uh, you maybe want to to move the feet outwards. Okay, instead of in a straight line like the the models do in in the shows. Okay. So continue. But for the rest, the body language is quite fine. Okay, as we can see, the body language is the same. Head up, eyes focus on the on the front. Um yes, he's moving slowly, so he's, he's doing everything right. Okay. We can see the eyes. I will not repeat this again because I made this so bad. Eyes focus, chin up. As you, as you can see, he's not showing himself um, Submissive, okay. We show ourselves submissive when we look 
down okay or we look to a no, to a side okay when people or the thing that is stressing us so shift itself always looking at us so is he doing right everything for the moment he's breathes so he's he needs to relax a little bit he looks at in us in the side to look at the at the man so so it's it shows that Ragnar is a a person that looks at things like he he recognizes that his town that he abandoned has grown a lot. He's now it's a town now for everyone to come. <laughs> Slowly, as I saw, as I say, rocking the the shoulders. Okay, the typical move for showing confidence, chin up. Okay. Mouth open. You in reality you do don't you don't want to to have the mouth open because so some can so submissive. As I saw as I told before, um, you you we breathe breathe in and breathe out to to get some air to relax in the process. It's just is is natural. It's a typical thing. We need to to breathe to take our time to process things. And when you have the, the mouth open, you show yourself to, to need more oxygen. So it shows that you are not in so so much control as you want to 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 show. So in reality you want to in reality in this moment he will play want to close the mouth, okay? Rocking shoulders, as I saw, as I told. Okay, let's go. Mouth closed. He's looking at the sides to check the people, but he's not looking down. Okay, he's looking at the sides, at the side, but on the same center and in the front. So okay, he she is not looking down. He's not looking submissive. He's checking as a as a king. Okay, people is look is starting to look at him because they are recognizing him. So that's why he is starting to to look at the size to check for his people. Okay, and we can see some kind of doubt in his eyes. Okay, for the way he's he's closing the, it. He's closing them. Okay, we can see some kind of tension. We can see the muscles of the of the head that are connected with the jaw tense in this moment. So let's see where it goes. Yeah, again the doubt in his eyes. Okay, mouth closed, tension, and. A little bit of, clo of closeness in the in the eyes. He looks down. Okay, he's looking submissive around his people. Let's see why. He starts. He looks back up. Okay. He takes his up. He. Okay, he's getting he's getting angry himself. He's preparing himself for what is going, what is coming. So yes, he's breathing in. He's getting angry. He frowns the the, the eyebrows. Yes, it's cool. He's preparing himself. It's, it's quite nice to see people that is has so much control about his body language that like he. That they can manage their emotions. It's, it's interesting. He has, he walks by the the Vikings that remember him from of Lagertha. He he looks down like embarrassed. 
So it's interesting that he can remember her, his ex-wife, and he feels embarrassed to to abandon her. You can see he's looking down, submissive, because of La Guerra. It's not for them; it's for La Guerra. Or remember La Guerra. But he gets bad control. It's la a way to to show respect. Okay, now we can see his angry tense. Uh, biting lips, biting teeth, he's getting angry, he's tense on the eyebrows, he's checking, he's looking, he's looking at the sides, looking for someone, let's see who he, who he's looking for. You can see the tension on the lips, here. And now. I saw it's an interesting difference between the, these sons of Ragnar and and Bjorn when they enter the the circle of people. I will show the difference later on, but for the moment I continue. I will continue with this. But remember this. Okay, nice center. We can see Uber thinking here. Look at the at the tongue and the lips, okay? Um okay. You can see here in this gesture that Uber is thinking. He's they are that's very nice. They are looking directly to his father, okay? But look at Uber. Uber is thinking. In the mouth. Here, we, we make this gesture to, to show that we are thinking, to think. Okay, Ragnar look at the, looks at them. And then looks down to see Ivar. Ivar looks surprised and interesting. You, we can see the open eyes, open mouth. It's interesting of what is going on. And then, slowly but surely, Ragnar looks at him, smiles, makes a little gesture of of interest. Let's see where it goes. I think Ragnar is surprised because he didn't trust Ivar to survive for on his own. That's what nice that he he recognized Ivar for for growing up. This interesting. He he goes directly to Ivar and looks down on him. Okay, this shows um his his most do, he's showing his dominance to to Ivar. Ivar is here. He's up. So he's showing Ivar the the hierarchy. Hello, Ivar. He makes the gesture on, with the eyes on the side. It's like uh, tipping the the hat, so, something like that. Like recognizing the 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 voice of his father, the the meaning of the of the the sentence. There's no mistaking you. Uh, interesting, he opens his eyes like he's joking. It appears my return. And he feels a little sad. He, falls, he goes from smiling to closing his, his mouth and going to smile to sad directly. So, yes. Let's see. It appears my return is not welcome. You've obviously all made your mind up about me. As I told before, look at the mouth of 
of Ragnar. This is very interesting on how Ragnar thinks. Okay. You've obviously all made your mind up about me. He opens his arms, like showing submission, showing himself. Okay. Do we make ourselves open? We open our our hands. We show our palms, so we can show submissive, and we are showing ourselves. We are showing that we are not any danger for them. Okay. And now we can see the same gesture on his mouth as Uber in the beginning of the tongue on the teeth or, or on the lips like th to, to show that he's thinking he thinks he he recognizes the thought and then I cannot blame you for that man. he laughs at it We can see some craziness on Ragnar. So, well, boys, who's gonna do it then? He so he goes from beer being at the beginning of the scene, being angry and decisiveness and decisive, to going to go to being sweet to his sons and kind of playful. Okay, we got another thing, the position of Ragnar. He's not looking directly to to his son, he's on the side, he's showing his shoulder, okay? He's not showing his full attention to him. That's interesting, but he rocks his head. Okay, he's not showing the full attention to, to his son yet. He's checking who is going to be the, the leader. Who's gonna kill me? He used silence to make them think about what is going on right now. Birkser is fixated with with his father, so let's see. I don't mind. He goes again to playful. Go ahead. He. He acts, he, he acts out to show some kind of, this is not an important matter. You can do whatever you want to do. Please. Again, Ivar is interested, open eyes, open mouth. He kind of smiles. What about you, Victor? And now, he's focused on Victor. Directly on him, locking eyes, closeness, okay, closeness, the front of his body is to the front of his son, and his chin up, he's showing, he's, he's showing his dominant, he's showing that right now it is important, right now yes, it's important, not what I was acting before. I'll see where it goes. You think you're a man now? Okay. We can see the mouth of Vixer. He's, he has some anxiety for the situation. Open mouth, but for the other body parts, for the other body language that he has, is very good. Okay. He's open, shoulders back, shoulders back, chin up, uh, lock eyes. But now in the mouth we can see some kind of tension. He lip, he bites his lips. He he licks his lips. But you, Victor, you think you're a man? You can see that. No. We can see the tension in in the jaw of of Ragnar. He's getting angry. He's showing the dominance. I did. There is a, very, a uh, quite interesting thing. When you whisper, you make the situation for for the other person very intimate. If you want to to make the points very intimate to someone. You want to talk a very intimate conversation. Whispering makes the other person is unconscious. This this gesture 
to to focus more on the on the conversation to focus more on, on the point that is that you are making making right now so if you want to make something intimate whisper okay Uwe is not making anything any any move Put me out of my misery. he makes the gesture of sewing his neck sewing neck sewing the back side of the of the head sewing any yes yeah, sewing any part of the neck looking down that's why looking down because you saw the back side of, of the head so in submissive you can see that on teams on gorillas on any animal ah, he continues to whisper he smiles and do it do it touching is a very dominant move okay and we can see the reaction of Dixer he he starts to to move the lips, he's he's not comfortable enough to to be in touch with his father. Less if you are talking about healing him. So do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Look at and now he breaks contact, eye contact. Okay, we can now know who is the leader right now between these two. These people, they no longer support me. And now he changed the voice completely. He's a more dominant voice. So everyone can hear him. Look! Open, open arms, open body language. Why would they? He's checking around. He's showing he's the king. So see, he's making a point right now. I am your leader, and I just left. We can see again the craziness in Ragnar. He's being dominant and submissive, and submissive at the same time. He's he's being playful, and he's very being serious. It's interesting. It's a very that makes you a very interesting person. If you can switch between different or opposite feelings, that makes you a very interesting person. Again. He's thinking with the you can see on the lips. He's thinking what he's gonna do next. What kind of leader does that? Huh? Again, he's showing the palms, he's showing the arms, he's opening up, like showing himself, showing his point, showing that he understands what has he done and and been and he's being self accountable for that what kind of thing abandoned his people okay pointing the the ground making the the points while he is, speaks with the body and with the with the verbal communication very interesting he's very very serious lips the forehead everything Okay, now you can see the frown eyebrows in Ivar. He does he doesn't know. He's questioning what is going on right now. Why his father is acting like that. Now we can see some tension on the lips on Ragnar. And we can see crying out crying eyes. He breathes in before making the next point. Kind of father abandons his son. Okay. Oh, he makes the point. He 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 shows a little submissive submission in this point. He's still a father, he's still a human. And we can make and we can see his eyes breaking in a little bit. Abandons his son. Again, his sons, they are, they are feeling the same as his father. Hmm. 
Hmm. Again, silence to make the point settle on the atmosphere. He breathes to regain composure. Again, the Christian is in Ragnar. You can see different emotions right now. Rocking Jawline. Rocking Jaw. The the angriness on the lips. Here we can see the move here. Tension on the on the jaw too. Different emotion, angriness, craziness, sadness. Who wants to be king? Okay. And now Ivar is getting serious, he's getting angry. She's getting focused. It's fine. Lips close, focus on the point. He lows down his head like the lions on when they are hunting. We can see here this. Yes, to focus, to hunt. Do you know how this works? Okay. A very dominant move is to to spread your things around your text. If you are in a in a in a position that you are kind of nervous tense, it could help you to regain some kind of position to put your things, your phone on the side, your wallet on the other side, your keys on, on in front of you. You can spread your things around the table or the or the space that you are having. You must kill me. Again, the head, so in submissiveness, but this is an acting. Everyone knows that he's asking. He changed his voice. He's changing everything again. Take it. Again, whispering. No. You? No, what about you? No, no, anyone? Who wants to be king? Angliness again. Tension on. On this side, okay. He stands on the U2. He's focused. And he goes directly to, to his son, going, going faster. He wants to finish this. By his terms, by his terms, yes. What about you, sir? Again, whispering, he smiles. Do you want to be king? Focus eyes. Okay, he doesn't get any response, so he goes to the other side. And he is getting serious. Looks at his tone on how he changes his composure from song to song. Now goes to the older, and he's getting again angry. You can see here. And he breathes in. He makes his hand bigger. We can see his shoulders getting bigger. Is getting taller, even. You want to be king, and he changes his voice, he goes deeper. Kill me, and you are a king. king. But he changes again, he's a now playful.
but he don't trust, he don't trust what is going on, he doesn't make any move. What are you waiting? As I told before, touching is a very dominant move, hitting is even dom even more dominant, so but don't go go everywhere to hidden people, please. But if you want to make your shot dominant, maybe in a handshake, you can Trump just to do that. He he will make a handshake and put a hand on the on the shoulder or 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 pull the the people to him, something like that. You can just make the the handshake and put the other hand on the shoulder. Of the other people, but smiling, but that makes you more dominant than the other person. Are you afraid be a man? Again, the voice is deeper. He's going to the to the oldest. He has to be more serious than the, with the younger ones. The closeness, the closeness between the two. It's nothing centimeters. Okay, the rocking jaw line, the rocking jaw, that shows some kind of craziness in, in Ragnar. <laughs> and he smiles, he, he is not getting what he wants to get, and he smiles, he feels frustrated. Again, dominant. On the top of the head, like the when the mother is carrying the puppy, they they take the puppies with the with the mouth on the on the back of the head. But this is a very similar move. To put your hand on the top of the people's heads makes a very dominant move on them. He touched his son. And he cleans himself. He is a bit, uh, a bit disgusted by him. And he's sad by it. Ivar is very sad about not being recognized as someone worthy to be a king. Again, with his eyes, he's he's sad about what he has done, what he. He's feeling right now he wants to be punished by them, by his sons. He pretty soon before fighting his father. He smiles because he, he, he can see that his sons are are growing up. He looks slowly, as I told before, slowly means confident. Very decisive moves. Okay, he makes a little gesture with the head, affirming. Recognizing his son as a worthy opponent. The head. Okay. And now he waits. And he opens himself to the to the punishment that he wants to receive. We can see the tension of the on the on the jaw moving and the lips because he's he's feeling he's seeing that his son is not making the move that he wants to move to me uh, that he wants we can see some tension on the on the lips on the jaw. 
because he sees that his son is not making the move. He's feeling nervous, he's moving the, the sword. So he goes. Right. This is a very interesting thing. People, um, objects for people have different meanings. For, them, for example, I will explain this in another video, but for now, I will explain this. For right now, right now the, the sword is a weapon, okay? But as he changes the position in front of it, the sword has his means, different meanings for the moment. For the moment, the sword is a weapon, a weapon to use against his son. He checks the source, he checks his son, he checks what everything is, the meaning of everything right now. The sword next goes to, to a supporting role to support his uh, Ragnar to make the, the move to confront his son in another way. <clears throat> and now it's a it's a way to separate himself and his son from the public as a wall. He goes closer to his son. Again, touching, and by touching, Uber do doesn't know if he's going to be hit, hit it again, or not. So he's not very trusting of what his father is going to do, or what his fa his father's intentions are, are gonna be this time, because until now Ragnar has shown very different intentions. And they embrace. Okay. And now we can see. I will show the how he enters, so we can. We I can show you the difference. Okay, compare this with Let us with this Uber th talk. Us. And they had to to push the people aside. But Bior not. Bior just answer here without talking and people are in the move to move aside. Now we know who is the oldest, who has the respect, and people is looking at, is looking at, is look are looking at, Bior. On the other, when Uwe and the other songs enter, nobody were lo was, were looking at at them. Okay, now I finish the video. So, see you on a next time. Good day and good luck.